What's gone wrong on a girl's trip? Let's get this out of the way right now. 13, 10, 60. Have you gone on one and it's just like... Because <laughs> mm, at this rate, it might not, you might not be going. What are you doing that for? What? Why is he doing that? You're not even invited and you're just trying to bring it down. It's literally the topic we're talking about right now. Yeah, but it's a little bit of cloud and you're like, oh, the whole trip's cancelled. Off you go, girls. Go home. It's with Sundays. It doesn't matter if it is raining as well. Is there a storm? Mean? Is there a storm? Cyclone would be an issue, but yeah, I, okay, should that would be, be fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. That might then, be then, I'd, then I'd be getting right. a bit... A Worried. bit nervous for it. But a little drizzle. But we are going to, we fly to Hamilton Island and then we get a boat to Daydream Island. Mm. And I am so excited to meet the people coming. But I've got to be honest, I'm a little bit nervous. Oh, you can tell. You can really tell the Woohoo units. Girls. And I don't need any more mm. Woohoo Girls. I've already got myself. Mm. What, do you, what do you call a pack of Woohoo Girls? Whoop. <laughs> I don't know. Whoopsies? <laughs> Whoopsies. <laughs> Trouble. That's what you call them. But this is, I'm not going to mention any names because I'll be in trouble. But Lindsay, <laughs> she got us banned from all the hotels at Byron Bay because of her behaviour. And we didn't think it was real, like, binding, but it is. And they're they pretty all... relaxed and stoned in that joint, so yeah. she must have been bad. Mm, I was, was going to go the other way. It's a town full of douches. She must have been really <laughs> douchey if you got kicked out of you all You shouldn't the places. mention comments to security guards, and then what happened is one of the other girls was not happy with the comments, and then... <laughs> She mm. talked to him like she was a mum, didn't she? <laughs> yeah. Before she even had kids. Yeah, you know? chicks do that. <laughs> yeah. Listen, buddy. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you met her, haven't you? Yeah, actually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What'd she say? I um, can't oh, okay. like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> So every and then what they radioed every single well, pub. Well, no, this is even before. And that's what I'm trying to work out. I think it was just cameras because this is before mm. we scan your ID in, mm. and you can't. Yeah, oh, I've had another. Safe. I've had another friend who hooked up with the entertainment, and then the entertainment didn't want to do all the entertainment. He was tired. <laughs> <laughs> he was going to break. She but hooked up with the entertainment. Before he entertained. No, she what, did do it, but it's just... Open the door go, right. <laughs> would you be surprised if the entertainment was there in the morning? It was very hard for oh. us all to get our head around as well. If your face paint is there in the morning, Matthew, there'll be questions <laughs> asked. <laughs> so Maybe aware. nothing bad has happened on a girl's trip. Maybe it's just mine. Mm. 13, no, 10, 60 if you want. I just want to know, is there people that have, you know, had an injury... Ended mm. up in hospital. They forgot their ID and they couldn't get in. Matt's obsessed with that. I no, because girls never... You literally said here, should I take my ID? Mm. Why? Just take it in case you need it. Why would you not need it? Because my handbag's really small. That, that thing? No, that's the first handbag. The second <laughs> handbag that I've got. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. No space. <laughs> no space in either one of your handbags. I. This is This is scary because... Literally no calls. No which calls. Which means you, it's everything just, is fine on a girls' trip, and we you're can do this. the problem. Yeah, good point. Have you ever had anything go wrong on a girls' trip, Ashley? No, nope, she hasn't. No. no, but um, Caitlin, I think does on the phones. Um, you hope. Mm. She's the only one who's called. Where mm. are the sisters in support? Mm. Does anything go wrong on your boys' trips? Have you ever had a disaster? Not no. that one. Or a Pete. No. Scotty lost his passport. And that's not good. No, no. it's not good. Mm. Did he, he ask if he should take it? <laughs> Am I going to need my passport? So you wouldn't have lost it if he didn't yeah. take it. He hid it so well. Yeah. That's oh, what happened. Here we go. Here we go. Here the girls come. What happened on a girls' trip? We'll get you on next. What went wrong on a girls' trip? That is the question as Abby prepares to leave for her long lunch. That is not a bender on Daydream Island. How's your flight? Oh, my gosh. Um, do you want me to go now? I think you probably should. Well, just talk to these girls and then nah, you can go. That's it. Uh, Emma from Logan. What went wrong on your girls' trip? Um, we got blind, rotten, drunk the first night and all decided that it was a brilliant idea to go get matching tattoos. No, oh, you all, didn't. We all love our bottles of wine and we were like, yeah, we'll get something like associated with that. And then somehow we ended up with... Purple and green grapes on us. Wow. <laughs> Emma. Yeah. Is there a no. tattoo shop on the island? Please no. tell me there's a tattoo shop do on the you, island. Like, do they look good? No. My oh, husband not. hates staring at my grapes. <laughs> <laughs> Where are your grapes, Emma? Uh, they're on the side, like under my armpit. I don't know why. 
Oh, hun. But it meant we couldn't swim really the rest no. of the trip. No. Um, the girls, one of the girls got theirs infected. Mm hmm. Um, but I just say at the end of the day, it was a great memory. Yes, ah, yes. Hey, hey, yes. hey. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Uh, all righty, Jess, what could go wrong on a girl's uh, trip? Um, my friend actually cheated on her husband um, with <laughs> entertainment. Yeah. Um, and then uh, he actually ended up finding out whilst we were on the girls' trip via um, her laptop connected to her iMessage. Wow. Um, and, yeah, she basically ended up just sort of being obviously miserable the whole trip, and it kind of just ruined everyone's trip. Um, and then she went home and ended up getting a divorce. So. Wow. <laughs> Ruined trip, absolutely. We don't. Our paint and sip that we're doing, Ash, is it just a scenery? The paint and sip. Or yeah, that... I think we can sort of do our own art. Like, okay. I don't think it's an instructed course. Right. Just making sure it wasn't a nude model or something. Yeah, I just didn't want to. That would that would tip you over the edge. Yeah. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> My girlfriend. Jess, did that trip. happen night one or? Yeah, it was um, It was actually just kind of the teaser night before all of the girls got there. So oh. it was like a couple of us. I mean, they couldn't yeah. have been happily married in the first place, right? Um, well, I mean, three kids would say otherwise. Oh. But <laughs> have you ever gone on another girls' trip with the same group? Uh, listen, we're in the middle of planning another one at the moment. Right. And then... We have rules now. There's, yeah. there's strict rules. Oh, um, well, it sounds like she'll follow them. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Shelley in Caboolture, girls' trips gone wrong. What happened to you? Um, long story short, I'll make it radio relevant. Mm -hmm. um, got very drunk in Vegas with a friend, lost her. Somehow we both separately ended up back at our hotel room. I tried to get into the wrong room. <laughs> um found out that I was on the right floor, wrong room, legged it to our room, passed out in the shower with my butt over the drain, <gasps> flooded our hotel room, oh, no. um, with our passports on the ground <gasps> in the morning, passports ruined, oh. uh, then we had to fly through Korea to get home, so then we were really worried, um, my passport, the face was signed. and my friend's face was smudged, so I was thinking, yeah, yeah, all good, all good, don't stress. Um, but when we got back into Australia, I was issued with a um, assessment on my passport saying I could either have three months in jail or surrender my passport for damage. You literally are not allowed to have any water damage on your passport. That's a real strict rule. Yeah, um, mm. I didn't have any on my passport, but my theory is my face. Mm. Fine, but the chip inside was damaged. Yeah, yeah right. okay, yeah. So, so how was the yeah. three months in prison? <laughs> uh, didn't take up the three months in prison. I don't, didn't think that was a really smart option. <laughs> Girls are worse than guys. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I we, reckon you're worse than we us. Did, no one said no. Did we, Shelley? <laughs> just saying. This is it's just because we've got behavior. so much stress in our lives that when we go away. Oh, uh -huh. sure, sure. So it's still the bloke's fault. Yeah. We just, we just don't there. go away enough. If we yeah. went away more, we might yeah. be used to it. Katie, what happened on your yeah. girls' trip? Hi, guys. So I'll paint the picture for you. I, it's my first girls' night out after my second baby. We went into my girlfriend's apartment in the city drinking sangria all afternoon in the sun, like smart girls do. Then we went into the valley for a Magic Men show. And we got about halfway through, and I got called up onto the stage, fine, mm -hmm. got called up. My friend got called up, didn't want to go, so I went for her. But we were packed in like sardines, so I couldn't get out either side of the aisle, so I had to climb over the front row mm -hmm. in front of me and might have had a whoopsie and landed on someone's glass oh. under my under my armpit. Oh. I got ushered into a room. One of my friends that I was out with is a doctor, right? Yeah. So a nurse... A nurse from the audience comes in and goes, I'm a nurse, I'm a nurse, let me have a look. Oh, my God, you're going to have to go to hospital. I'm like, no, I'm not going anywhere until Dr. Sarah says I'm going. Yeah. Unless my friend, my doctor, says I'm going, I'm not going. So Sarah comes in and she's like, yes, sweetie, we can see your ribs. We're going to oh, hospital. Oh, my goodness, me. <laughs> so my friends are like, follow that ambulance to the Royal Brisbane Hospital where I stayed for two days and had to get my muscles sewed back together before my skin got sewed back together. Oh. It was great. <laughs> oh, my God, wow. Katie. 
Oh, my gosh. Well? Yeah, but do you want to know the best part? Yes, I please. Actually thought, I actually thought I'd slipped up on stage. I didn't even know I'd didn't even make it to the stage. Yeah. Oh, so you were like, show me the photos. Show me oh. the photos. I've got photos. I've got photos. Did yeah, anyone, did all your friends follow or did they stay, at, some stay at the show? Two, my two best friends followed. Okay. Yeah, there's always a couple of people yeah. who go, she'll be yeah, right. She'll be what, right. what am I going to do? Or yeah, I'm I just going to get in the way. I can't but help. Going to be in the just, way. Just to even it out, my husband's house that they hired for his Bucks weekend ended up on the news, so. Oh, so that makes it okay. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Once again, a blind It's spot. even, it's even. <laughs> Abby's Dream Long Lunch. It has been a long lunch, and it's been an absolute dream what heading was, uh, back. What was, what was that conversation between you and the producer just there? What was that? Um, nothing. What were, we're you just asking? What were you I just asking? said, I just said, are you okay, Ash? And she couldn't hear me, and she is okay. I thought you wanted to eat your sausage that's over there. <laughs> um, so, because you're doing a gesture, pointing down, wasn't sure. That's all right. Do you want your, I don't do want to eat the sausage. sausage. <laughs> no, I've already had two. It's been a sausage trip up until now, hasn't it? <laughs> well, mm-hmm. uh, oh, but no, well, no, 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 I didn't. No, I didn't say that. Oh, yesterday in the pool. What? Abby was holding hands with this young boy. What? I mean, man, he was a man, but... Yeah. Um, he did like me. He yeah. did, didn't he? And his, and his dad was said, you leave the young lady alone. You were he holding does this hands all with, the time. Another, with a man? No, he was beautiful. I was speaking to him. There, were, there was a, a boy with Down syndrome, and I came up and asked how his oh. day was, and he just always wanted to hold my hand, so yeah. we were swimming in the pool together. He dragged and I, her away. I tried to say to him, I have to get ready for a long lunch, and he's like, no, you don't. <laughs> yeah. Bloody Sorry. hell. Oh, God. Did any of everyone who went was married too, weren't they? No, a couple no. of single girls. Yeah. But um not many single guys on the island. Mm. No. Um well, yeah. you were sussing yeah. it out, were you? Yeah, Ash? they were though. <laughs> I did see some hot looking guys, but they were in a relationship with each other. They were on FaceTime and Ash mm. kept saying how hot they were. It's oh, like yeah. you've said it three times, we might need to move on. And but then you, you should together, see- they probably got gayer too, I reckon. <laughs> 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 Anyway, this is a turning point in the lunch because I have to say, it was absolutely beautiful. We did have a few cocktails in the pool, then everyone went back to their rooms to go and get changed. And then we met for the lunch and Daydream Island just put it on. The chefs were amazing coming out, talking to us about the food. And it was very civil lunch, as in we just had drinks, we did have cocktails, we talked, enjoyed the food until a certain point. And Mm. you know when you get towards the end and everyone's sort of walking, moving around, and then someone came up to me and was like, we need to organise shots. Oh. <laughs> Which is never a good decision, nope. is it? Nope. So what nope. did we choose? Well, I don't know how Erica came up with this, but it was her decision. Um, the person serving us really loves tequila, so we're going to try and persuade her to give us tequila shots. But we're not but paying? Is that what we're doing? Exactly how, right. How are we going to do that? We're going to need 15 I'm tequila shots. persuade her. Well, she can bring them out in, like, sets of five. <laughs> yeah. So who's going to ask? Rock, paper, I'm not a mathematician, but... I'm going to go rock, paper, scissors. Oh, Abby has oh, to ask. Oh, I love oh, her. You have to ask. Oh, oh, where did she go? Abby. Abby. Obviously, no, there's Abby. no last drinks called yet, but we're still... We're just but... wondering if it's too cheeky. Tanya! 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 We have decided what we're doing here. Is this immoral? Um, um, just so you know, I have asked for tequila shots and uh, we came up with a compromise and that each tequila shot will have a uh, ice cube in it because of RSA. I was going to say RSA. What's that? RSA. RSA. Is that a choking hazard? No, that is responsible service of alcohol. You know what? We will get through that speed hump of a ride. <laughs> I just want to let you guys know that we were being responsible. That's why we had an ice cube in it. Sure. Yeah, that's, yep. Yeah. 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 Uh (laughs) Yeah. I mean, being responsible for work tomorrow would have been not doing any tequila shots regardless of the ice cube or not. I'm here, Stav. Okay. In spirit. And we are doing a great job. And look, look, and you know what? This is the thing. We, we not, we're not judging. No. We're glad that you, mm. we wanted you to have the best time and we're happy that mm-hmm. you decided to go that far and you, sh- you deserve it. You work thank hard. You, thank you. You probably shouldn't so have that's that one we... now though. Put that one down. Um. <laughs> 
we were uh, we were walking back and we just then just had a few quiet drinks. We didn't stay out as late as what we uh, we thought we would because we did start quite early. Yeah, right. The exhale says it all. Uh, Escape to a haven and peace and relaxation at Daydream Island Resort. Wanted to celebrate International Women's Day a little bit different this year, so we went up to Daydream Island, which I think maybe will be an annual thing. Mm. Going somewhere a little bit different, just to get away, you know, rather than a lunch. In a spell next year, you reckon? Change things up. Do you know what I realise? And it is true, Daydream Island is amazing, Mm. so I'm not going to say that, but it is also about the company. Right. Oh, so it was just the amazing yeah. group of girls that came together. We were all saying how lucky we were. I, was, I had to run off from the plane to go to school pick up in time. So I was walking down the aisle saying goodbye to everyone. Yeah, right. And I was like, we're just so lucky that everyone got along well. Mm. A, a great trip can be ruined by one, one person. person. Yes. It really can. <laughs> Generally, <laughs> me. It really can. <laughs> that was not that <laughs> one person. So I was like, pat on the back for being such awesome women. And we, oh, we were a little bit nervous coming home. Mm. So you've got to go to Hamilton Island to get the plane back, but there is a boat and you guys know how I feel about boats. You get seasick. I get so bad seasick Mm. and I love them because I think they're just so awesome and I'd like to be like that rich person that goes away on a yacht. Like I think that would just be awesome, but it doesn't happen. I just get, and I was like, it'll be all right. And the lady said to us um, when we were just about to leave, we're looking out and we're like, it is choppy. And she's like, no, 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 no. It's a big boat. You actually don't even feel it. Uh-huh. So we're like, okay, no worries. Sweet. And then, yeah, but you realise she lives at Early Beach. So every day they come over on that boat <clears> and they go home. <throat> For her, that's just a hop, skip and a jump. Yeah, yeah, it'd have to be like a tsunami before she felt something. Yes. Yeah. And we're like, oh, okay, no worries. So we're like, we didn't have any seasickness. So I was trying to work out what's the best place to be on the boat. Oh, like a, a position on the boat yeah. so you feel the lower the least. The, you can. Really? Yeah, higher well, up I, you feel it more. But you'd have to be at the back because the front would feel it more, right? Yeah, don't, yeah. If but anyone you would knows see more what, about you would boats see what's coming if and you're can, on the front. A lot no, of I the think... time they say, like, if you can see the water, it's better because you really? can, then you can adjust, you, you see how you're moving. But I um, always thought it was out in the front, so I need air, I can't be underneath. Mm. So I, we were at the top at the back because I thought that would be the best. No, you don't want to be up the top. Whoa, it was choppy. Mm. It was like a roller coaster. Yeah, and we're like holding on. Down, down on boat level, you're going like that, but if you're up, up higher, it's actually more of a more of a sway. I think it was swaying everywhere. Oh, it does, yeah. I reckon it's mentally whatever someone tells you. Yeah. So if mm-hmm. she said to you, at the back, hang off this edge of the boat and skim along the water, that's probably the and best. And put your leg up and your head. Yeah, yeah, your hand on your head. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. I would have done it. When we did the um, shark diving, yeah. um, it was pretty pitchy on the way out there. Pretty much everyone everyone threw up. I didn't. Um, everyone else was sort of laid out. Um, and then when we were out on the water, it got pitchy a couple of times, but we were stationary. And then we got back to the dock. And as soon as we landed, this guy came out of the cabin that no one had seen the entire trip and walked straight off. And everyone was like, who was that guy? And was he just down below? His wife sick. said, that's my husband. He was sick the moment he got on and was just vomiting the entire time. And now he's getting off because he's, he wants to die. And oh, we never, no one saw him oh, the entire time. Oh, yeah, poor, poor oh, guy. He would have just jumped in the ocean. Going, that's right, those sharks. But they were telling this story. You know how sometimes on these boats they have audio? Yep. And they're telling some oh, sort yeah. of story, yep. but we couldn't hear it because, mm. like I said, we're at the back. It is choppy. There is so much, like, the rain was coming at me and I didn't care. Yeah. I was like, I don't care if I'm getting wet, whatever, it doesn't matter. Mm. And I was just like, let's just hold on. But they were telling this story and we couldn't hear it, but there was, like, acting in it. <laughs> and I said to Ash, I was like, is that the story? She goes, I think so, because all we could hear of them going, help me, help me. Oh. And I was like, I don't know, if someone's, I can't help them now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling sick. We're like, is this inappropriate? Because we yeah. couldn't hear anything else, but just help me, help me. And what, were they I, playing the Titanic movie? I don't know. <laughs> we're trying to see about if anything happens. Mm. Are we right to jump away from the boat? Is that true that you get sucked down? And then we're trying to see about like Titanic and we're like, obviously everyone could fit on the door. Yeah. Yeah. But are you right to jump yes. away from the boat? Yes. Not hang on to it? No. Because it's not going to float? Well, if the boat sinks and you're holding on to it. But doesn't it hold float for a little while and then you jump away? Depends on what's happened to it. Sometimes they can go down in two minutes. Sometimes it takes 15. But you don't want to be near the vortex of the whirlpool when the boat goes under. 
Mm. See, I always find that interesting when they talk about, you know, <clears throat> helicopter training and mm. boat training what and what to do. To do. And yeah. All that shit goes out the window when it's on fire and sinking. You just, you don't go, okay, let's think back to section 1A of the book. Yeah. It says surviving a sinking boat. You yeah. know, and it even said, ah! it even said before we got off and I was like, who's doing that? If in emergency, can you please do an orderly fashion? I thought mm. no one in of an course. emergency has gone... Oh, I was going to panic, but I just remember orderly. One, Single one, file. One Karen goes, oi, you were at the mm. back of the line, champion. <laughs> back, <laughs> back. <laughs> you survived, though. That's we survived. Thing. We made it back. There you go. <laughs> Abby's Long Lunch. She's live long from lunch. the star this morning. Not a bender. It was just a long lunch for a group of mums that need to get away before Mother's Day. And we did. We talked a lot about the kids. Yeah. Is that why you're on the floor right now? Uh, no, <laughs> no one can see me, Stav, so thank you very much. Sorry, it's not not the prettiest angle. Um, the laptop needs to be charged up, so... Right. I, yeah, so I'm on the what? floor. So our webcam, for the webcam, there's no no battery in the laptop. So, so I need to plug it into the wall. Plugged Stav. in over there. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, renowned for its traditional Japanese cooking, Kiyomi. It takes fun, darling. From the ordinary to the extraordinary. That's where you had lunch yesterday. The star.com.au. is amazing. And you've got to remember the star, obviously, down the Gold Coast. But the star is going to be opening in Brisbane with that restaurant as well. Right. Mm. Uh, are they going to let you in, you reckon? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I think so. Um, I hope so. <laughs> so we, we've been hearing we've been hearing the tales of the day throughout the morning. And what's interesting about it is it's it's quite a evolving story because as the morning has gone on, uh, you've filled in some of your black spots that you've had. It's not a black spot. Drink responsibly. I mean, at the end of the day, I hadn't really yeah. slept. That's all it is, and I just can't believe I sent a text to Tommy Little. So when that dawned on you this morning, uh, we've obviously everything that happens off the air, we can capture that audio. Mm. This is, this is your. Don't guys, this don't is do this. Past you, past <gasps> you, whispering Matthew Acton. into Matthew. current your ear to say, Matthew Acton, he's what you did. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I sent a text to Tommy Little. I know. Yeah. <laughs> ah! Ah! No! Oh my god. Did he write that? No, and I just deleted it. Oh my god, Abby. Quite composed there. <laughs> not a, it's not a big deal. I just. Yeah. Isn't that the, that's the worst in the world, really, isn't it? What sort of person am I? Are we at that stage, are we? <laughs> <laughs> just need to change who I am. What sort of a person oh, am no, I? Oh, no. Monday she's going to come oh, in with a green so... shake and tell us that we need to join her on her <laughs> fitness journey. We she? do. We're getting a PT <laughs> on Mondays and we're all going to work out. It's just a 30-day challenge and we're just going to be new us. Oh, I hate when the demons set in. We start tomorrow because I've got a bacon and an egg roll. Okay, so... <laughs> Um, the best part of this... I don't everyone, know what I sent. Everyone listening is going, what did she say in the text message? <laughs> I just deleted it because I didn't. I, I deleted it. And then Ash, our beautiful producer, said I sent a video to him. Yeah, there was, there was no text. What? Just vision. Because um, he's in Brisbane. What was it about? Mm. And you, what were you trying to do? Get him there? I, th- to... I was trying to get him there. No, I, I think I was trying to set him up with someone. I don't know if he's single or not. Right, okay. And I was trying to set him up with someone. I, we can only play with 18. You? <laughs> Please don't play it. We can Please only play 18 play seconds of it. Don't We had to heavily edit it. I'm, I'm not sure you have any sway Say, here. because yeah. I, I would if I was in the studio. <laughs> oh, no, I'm my, sure. my finger slipped. Oh. Okay, so um, <laughs> Jess is really upset because she yeah. feels like she's such a nerd. I am. I'm a nerd. No, I have a gamble. Give me my gammon little coin. Guys, let's get a um, corporate job. She's working late. Because she's <laughs> a thinner. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I think that way I've got it in my head. What? <laughs> <laughs> she's working late. Oh, my God. she's a thinner. So you were trying to hook up our promotions girl with Tommy Worst Little. Worst wing woman ever, sending videos like that. Well, you don't know. It might have worked. He didn't yeah. write back. Well, have you heard from Jess this morning? Ah. No. 
Mm. Mm. Might be too little, too early. <laughs> <laughs> mm. That's it. That's it. What? That's it. We're done. Mm. No more long lunches. <laughs> well, that's that's disappointing for the mums that enjoyed yeah. themselves. Yeah. And for us, this is I'm having heaps of fun. Oh, this is. <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, thought I would have grown up of this stuff, this behaviour. Mm. So did we. <laughs> I thought. <laughs> I mean, thought the way I you were banging on up. about it before you left, we definitely thought you would have. But no, you've regressed. <gasps> have you spoken to your husband this morning? Oh God, should we get him on? No. No. You haven't spoken uh, to him? Like, no him and on? both. No and no. Okay, yeah, fair enough. He's probably with Tommy. Uh, no, he's not with Tommy. I asked him to come over <laughs> at 10.30. <laughs> Tommy or your husband? No, he's Scott. Oh, Scotty. okay. So I'm just... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> we have reached out to Tommy. Yes, we have. We... And am I fired? Well, he doesn't have that sort of power. We just want to chat to him. Calm down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no response. No response yet. We've heard he might be on a run, so he might finish his circuit. Yeah, running oh, as far away from you as he can. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> it's better to get sorry, this all out guys. of the open now. I'm eh? sorry. Yeah, I know. Why? You don't this feels to like us. a group therapy session. I just don't want to be that girl. Mm. We, we kind of do. <laughs> I'm not even a hot mess. I'm just a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez Louise. You know what was fun? Um, last week. Mm. It was an epic long lunch. I'm going to have a little bit of a break from them. Just because I always said that I was having long lunches just to be able to fill our soul. Do you know, sometimes you just need to get away with the girls. Mm. And it was just everything that I asked for. And you know what I'm really upset about though? It was such a nice group of girls that it was kind of like, you know, when you go to something really big, like a wedding or a hens. Yeah. And then you need a recovery party. Uh-huh. Because like I had to do day. the show. I didn't have a recovery party, so I didn't get to hug everyone goodbye no. or debrief. No. Yeah, yeah. It's oh, you shame. mean like smooth things over? <laughs> <laughs> Apologise. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Look, there was, there was a bus on the way home and I had to go and do a, a safety driving course. So I wasn't able to take the bus on the way home. But the, it was such a big night. She ended up doing community service. <laughs> but the bus had to pull over a few times on the way home. Oh, good gosh. Okay, question for this one. Because you were saying all along it was a mother's get together. It was a mother's right? day, but they, yeah. Out of all of them that you've done. Was this the most hectic? Was this the one that got out of control the most? No. It's a yes, no answer. No, because we're all, we didn't get, no. It wasn't, it wasn't completely out of control. I think this was a group that was ready to party. Oh, because, was it the wildest? Is what because I'm you guys set it up as, oh, it's a bender, it's at the uh, Gold Coast. So I feel fault. like you really set the we tone of the people that, that entered. Yeah. We never said <laughs> that. I just, I, I'm. Uh, Are you saying that sending Angry Ange, the HR manager? I like her. Was, but was it warranted? Hmm. Uh, was the B105 board's concerns warranted? Yes. Maybe. I don't know. Yes. I'm a re- reformed, is it reformed? I'm a reformed party girl. So. God, I hate to see you when you weren't. <laughs> oh, no, you don't want to. <laughs> As in, you're... like, reformed from Saturday or? <laughs> no. Because you were talking big talk on Friday. You were real down on yourself and you're like, never again. And then the next thing I saw on Instagram was you at the tennis with gin. Hmm. <laughs> I was watching my son play and my friend Peter took um, a gin, just one, responsible, two, <laughs> <laughs> responsible to watch. It is long, mate. Four right. hours of watching tennis. He just asked the questions. I that's all. Questions. Mm, mm. Yeah, you're on it. At what point when my son turned over and said, are you going to put down the drink and watch me? I was like, oi, it's four hours. I've been watching a lot. <laughs> but that's reformed. That's a new me. Monday, new me. Here we go. But this is the thing that I found really strange is that I went to the school disco. There was uh, a disco and I was dropping off the kids. And in the line, someone said to me, oh, I saw that there was entertainment. Did you have male strippers? I said, no, not male strippers. They're professional dancers. And a lot of the dads good. were like, oh, that's what we call it. They're all professional dancers. I'm like, no, these guys are. They're from the Pink Flamingo. And we had dancers Dance coming. Academy. We had dancers <laughs> come out. I'm saying they are dancers. There's a difference. There's guys that can't dance and they just walk around like topless or strip. That's different. But I'm saying these were epic dancers. Mm, Okay. Okay? Mm. But they did take their top off, not their pants. Mm. You didn't have enough money on you? (laughs) (laughs) They would have done it for free because they loved us so much. Isn't that what you guys say? Hey, Jenny, though. Jenny was a bit, uh, she was the only one who a daughter had brought along. Right. Yeah, I remember so them. A lot they of them were, had they were really sweet. Lovely, lovely. Mm. But she was a bit like, oh no, you've got me in trouble about this. Oh. Yeah. 
naked men, not naked, very sexually looking, handsome men. Uh, yeah, that was. Why did uh, you keep screaming, I'm going to get divorced, I'm going to get divorced? Because it's your fault. I'm going to blame you, Abby. Someone's going to get divorced, it's going to be me. <laughs> which one did you pick? Or which ones did you pick? All of them. <laughs> All of them. Oh my God, that's the best Mother's Day present I've ever had in my whole life. <laughs> Bring it on. I want to do it again. Yay! Bring it back. Sounds like she had a debrief. <laughs> but when I was in the line to the disco, because we are all talking about it, they're like, did you uh, did you give Scott the heads up? Mm. And I was like, no. What, what? I don't understand. Scott wouldn't care. But I know him. Like, I guess yeah. we know our relationship, mm. so he wouldn't mind. But here's a question. So should have I asked permission? Should have I given the heads up and said, hey, there's going to be male entertainment there. Is everyone okay with it? Because if oh, you... Oh, should you have told the other girls that? Yeah. Yeah. Right. So that they could tell their partners, or is that just weird? In other words, if you were going somewhere and mm. there were female strippers, mm. would you tell your partner? Like, yes. would you have to say, hey, this is going to happen? Uh, yes. I, I would prefer to know and front that information. Because <clears throat> once I was trying to call Scott and I couldn't get hold of him, surprise, surprise, never can, he was out. And I was actually just driving past and he was like, I need you to pick me up on the way home. You know, one of those, I'm not going to have a big night, pick me up on the way home. Then I call him at midnight, no answer. Of course. And I then called his friends mm-hmm. and I was like, hey, where are you guys? And they're like, oh, Scotty just went to go and get a Euros. I'm like, okay. So why is he not answering? Like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Eventually got through to Scott mm. and he was like, ah, we're at the strip joint. <laughs> and I was like, but your mate said that you're getting a Euros. He goes, I wasn't getting a Euros. Yeah, but they weren't sure whether you'd like That's the what luck. I mean. So they cover for him anyway. <laughs> 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 mm. yeah. So I don't know. I don't think anything, anyone was up. Set or got in trouble about it, did they? No, I didn't. No, she didn't. <laughs> Good. Okay. I think I think guys are probably <clears throat> more okay with it than women would be. They don't get completely nude. But they can if you you can buy those ones still. Mm. Mm. These were dances. Like you can buy you can buy non completely nude women entertainers. Who has ever done that? And that's the attitude of the reason why we need to know if they're coming or not. See what I mean? Have you ever gone and had that though? No, because that would be a waste of money. Yes. What See, I'm that's saying that's is, cabaret. is that the way you flick there is exact reason why you need to ring your mates and go, heads up, this is going to come. Can you let your wife know so that you're not in trouble or it's not a big secret? And... I think it definitely comes down to the different relationships. Some people Correct, don't have yeah. a problem with it. Some people do. Oh, I just thought it was silly getting permission sleep slips. Mm. Sleeps. I, you, that's different. We would have got permission for that, is what I meant. But no. yeah, do you believe mm. male entertainment is not the same as women? Yeah, entertainment? I do. I do because I've been to a place where males get completely naked, and the reaction is like, "Oh, oh my god, now they're naked." So it's more. But you don't know that some men don't react like that. <laughs> But that's what I'm saying. That's, you're, you've As got, an educated guess, Matthew. You've got prejudice. Um, go, yeah, I do. I and and do. this world of equality? Yeah. Not, not so is that what you normally do? I so once they get to a certain point, do you say, put oh. it on, put it on, and you ask them to put their clothes on? Is that what happens? No, not at all. I say, fellas, is everyone comfortable with this? I just <laughs> want to make sure that we're in a safe environment. And they say, no, yeah. we're not. I said, Can well, you please you leave? To leave. <laughs> <laughs> you're really bringing down the mood. I don't know. I just hope I didn't do anything wrong. By not uh, telling people. But that's silly. Hey, just letting you know, has everyone got their heads up that they feel comfortable? I guess I mean, the other thing is that they could leave at that time. Correct. True. They could if they wanted yeah, to. Yeah, lock the doors on them. Or anything. Yeah. They're all trapped in here with me. <laughs> <laughs> what do the people reckon, though? That's the question. 13, 10, 60. Do you have to give the heads up? Mm. If there's going to be professional dancers that are dressed very scaly. Yeah. Uh, your calls, <laughs> and maybe you've got story. Maybe you've got stories of when you didn't tell, mm. and it kind of went awry. Mm. Uh, Thirteen ten sixty phones are open. We'll chat next. Strange question, but should have I told everyone, given everyone the heads up that there was male entertainment on the long lunch? Mm. Because I'm still going to go by the theory. What happens on the long lunch stays on the long lunch. Not really, because we tell everyone. But what I meant was we can't judge. Like everything's allowed. Different postcode, different rules. What are we going with? <laughs> Whoa, well, I don't know. There's a, lot, there's a lot to take in there. Is that yeah. why all the long lunches have been overnighters in other places? Mm. You know why there is? And this is why I was saying it to the girls. That I used to do long lunches that were in Brizzy, and yes, they're great. But the problem is with that is that people will get there and go, oh, wait, I've got to go and do school pickup. Mm. Because they're available and it hasn't really got the same vibe. I wanted to give people a bit more freedom. And when they're away, then everyone else needs to help out. Mm. So the question is this morning, 
Do you have to tell people if there's going to be a stripper yes. at the party so they can inform their partners? Yes, because you've caused a divorce. Well, I was like, what are you planning on doing that's going to cause it? <laughs> Someone lost their job on the last one. Yeah. Someone lost their husband on this one. Yeah. What will they lose next? Their house. Find out. It's <laughs> <laughs> long lunch. But Mel in Springfield Lakes, what do you think about adult entertainment? Do you think you have to tell people so they know what's going on? Well, I, I think it depends on how long you've been with your partner for. Mm-hmm. I mean, my husband and I have been married for 27 years. And when we first got together, I'm like, nope, definitely you're not going to that. That's not appropriate. Whereas now I'm just like, meh. Have fun. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're happy to lose it, it like, now, Mel. You know? No, you I, it's just you're more secure now. I don't know. I feel That's like there was right. a lot more jealousy at the start, but then you know your partner, you know your, your limits, you both. Yeah, mm. but there's a huge difference between a male stripper and a female stripper. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one's so glaringly the obvious females, one. <laughs> yes, yes. One has two private parts. The other one has the one. But <laughs> when, when women go to see entertainment they go there for the dancing they go there for the music they want to see that yes the boys don't necessarily take off their bottoms to show everything Mm. yep whereas women strippers their girls are there Mm. and that's what the boys go to see yeah boys want to go see those girls Mm. and see them moving Mm. on the girls so yeah i think there's a big difference between a male stripper and a female stripper right so yep. your husband's allowed to go to see male strippers? If you want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there. Do you think oh, the other thing me, is with the, me. <laughs> <laughs> with the age thing, do you think it's like because back in those days you were young enough to be a stripper but you're not and now you're like, nah, I can't compete with that. Where you go? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. 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 I think it's good to know purely for those who are in relationships where they might get in trouble because mm. I would never want anyone – like that to dampen the night. You know what I mean? Like, I think if mm-hmm. everyone just knows, then it's a choice. You yeah. can tell your partner what you do then is totally up to you. There were two yeah, girls. in your court now. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. There were two yeah. girls that missed it. Why? And that's what, well, because we were leaving the lunch and we said to people, go and freshen up, do whatever you want, and then meet for a drink. So they actually missed it. So they were like, can we start again? Can we again? bring them back? <laughs> or can we go <laughs> again? Like, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, an anonymous caller here. Hello. Hello, how are you guys? We're good. What, what do you think about this? Do you have to tell people that there's going to be going to be rippers? Um, I personally don't have an opinion, but my girlfriend, who was a bridesmaid for, mm. had a very big opinion on this, where she made it very clear to all of us girls that if her fiance a week before at his buck, mm. a week before the wedding, if he had a stripper come, she mm. would not marry him. Wow. Okay, so she was like, I can't do the same then. I, like, I can't yep. have one, yeah. right? So that's why she was really yep. scared that you guys would organise a surprise. Yep, because she'd done the old threat on him to mm. say, I won't marry you if you do this. So if us girls got her one, nah. yeah. Mm. yeah. Well, see, I um, organised my mate's Bucks party many years ago and I checked that everyone wanted one yep. and I booked one. And then a couple of days before, the lady rang to confirm and I had accidentally... <laughs> booked a step further. So you were like, oh. Where they were. Accidentally. <laughs> That's so women, women of the night. Yeah. And they said, bring cash. <laughs> and I went, I think I've done the wrong thing So did you cancel here. it or did you It was the greatest it? Bucks night ever. Yeah. No, I rang her back and said that the Bucks night had been cancelled. So we no longer needed them. Oh. Because th- I didn't want. Any... You didn't want to get, you know, especially no when way. you're the organizer. Because I, my, my yeah. friend was Still really. Still booked it for a private. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my friend had, was really concerned about female strippers yeah. at her fiance's bucks. And she was really upset about it. It turned into tears. And yeah. I was like, what are you so upset about? She goes, I don't know what they do. I said, what do you mean? She goes, well, I've never been to one. So I, great idea, thought it would be a good idea for us to go uh-huh. to see what it was like so she wouldn't get upset. Most expensive burgers we've ever bought, by the way, mm. at this place. Mm. But then we ended up going home and he was like, wait a minute. So I didn't go, yeah. but you girls went mm. to the, yeah, but we're like, it was the girl one. So you missed out. It was really good. <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, you've learned a few things. What's yeah. stopping you? <laughs>